how do you usually prepare for the concert? Do you have some rituals? Oh, yeah. So, most of the time, <laughs> we're a bit in a hurry. And, like, me for myself, I'm very lazy. <laughs> so, um, I'm so very slow minded and, like, prepare everything very, very um, slowly and concentrate on everything. Um, and the others a bit more stressy. And we normally do have completely different vibes before the concert. And I think the most important thing is just like two or um, three minutes before the concert to have a come. Yeah, so we we need a vibe check together. To <laughs> I have to hurry up. The others have to slow down. And then when we are like on the same tempo again, the same vibe, we can start already. But it's also, I, guess, I think the vibe check is the most important thing about <laughs> doing before the concert. Yeah. All right. Number two. It's a bit hard to pick them up. So, where are you now on your musical path? What's happening with your band? Oh, yeah, it's hard to tell. So, um, yeah, COVID was a really, a really hard time, I think, for every musician. Uh, who's performing live so we are performing live most of the time it's like our main thing to do um, and yeah so our musical path is like closely connected with uh, political engagement we are um, uh, playing on like many um, protests climate protests social uh, justice protests and so on and yeah they were kind of um, very quiet during COVID and um, so now we are um, doing more protests again and being more on festivals again like political festivals like this one as well and um, yeah so at this moment so we can't, can't tell the future like how it's going next year uh, with COVID or like how many people uh, are in the scene again and um, we're doing the most that we can but it's still hard to plan uh, actually but we're like doing all the best we can writing new music doing new rap songs with Mondman um, very cool guy and um, like having fun together meeting new people like I, everybody is like so eager to uh, get to know new people and like um, and bundle new creative spirits and I think there's a big chance in this time but yeah it's hard to plan actually so our path is um, somewhere between um, uh, long and fully uh, long um, yeah Wayne. <laughs> Um, I'm a bit sleepy. Can't build big metaphors in my head right now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I think this is worth enough for the second question. Three. Uh, how did the pandemic affect you and your music? Yeah, I already talked about a bit already. Yeah. Um, so um, for us, it was kind of a, a creative hole in which we fell in. Because like normally we are doing music together, like I'm, I'm playing the saxophone, and it's, for me it's not a it's an instrument which I'm playing alone. It's a social instrument. I do play it alone uh, together with Carl, the other saxophonist in our band, and and it's so important. So we're like playing together for ten years now already, and I can't. Like imagine to do it alone or like do it with somebody who am with who I'm not that musically connected so it was a very deep hole in which we fell in and um, so I couldn't concentrate on music right and couldn't write new music because new music um, is arising out of like the creative spirit which we have during jam sessions and stuff and we couldn't do jam sessions so our um, Musical, musical infrastructure was broken down. We didn't have any um, 
um, um, rooms for your rehearsal anymore because they are, were all closed due to COVID and um, yeah, it was a hard time, it was a really hard time and now we like, see our creative minds aspiring again which is really cool but it was like I can't take much good positive vibes out of COVID and um, yeah we are like at this moment we are uh, at the really same situation um, as two years ago like we are planning to have a great festival summer next year and like having like managing uh, much festivals and having much plans so um, yeah the future is not um, safe. <laughs> yeah. Respect and Neugier Festival is about diversity, curiosity, and respecting those differences. How much do you identify with that? How do you interpret, interpret it in your music? Um, yeah, so uh, as I already told you, we're playing um, uh, at, yeah, much different. Uh, many different uh, like political protest festivals, um, clubs, and so we are we are closely connected. Like our, our, our band is really closely connected to being politically active, and um, we we can't imagine to play in a not political environment. Like or like being. It's also this thing with like this boy bands and like this stuff so we all try to be very aware of like gender, stereo gender stereotypes in our band and don't try to push it that hard and um, so we can't imagine to do music in a not socially aware environment and that's why I think we are closely aligned to like those aims, uh, which the Respect and Neugier Festival stands for. Um, yeah, and how do we interpret it in the music? Um, <laughs> so originally, uh, Carl and me, like uh, both of uh, our saxophonists, uh, we're coming from uh, like jazz scene, but a very posh jazz scene, which uh, people were very strict about, like the in the rules of the social uh, milieu and um, I think we both wanted to break out of like this rule based strict and bit uh, upper class thing jazz is not upper class but like how we learn it uh, it was kind of an upper class thing and um, wanted to be more subversive more politically and like we are, we are rioting. Like we are, uh, we started to play uh, in, uh, in, in, in in inner cities. Like we are, uh, we are basket like most of the time when we are eighteen or nineteen years old and like did it um, because uh, although it was forbidden and like most of the shopkeepers. So uh, we kind of rioting in our music, and we uh, started to play um, like in the streets where busking, uh, although it was forbidden. Like shopkeepers uh, were always like up to uh, sending us away and didn't want to have our music in front of them. Kind of understandable, but like there are so few places in public in which you can do music, in which you can express yourself and like many places are closed down still and um, so it's really important that uh, we are creating places to, uh, to, to, to make music and be creative together and it, this place is such a place, it's wonderful here and um, yeah so can't imagine Ourselves, our band history, and our future without being like politically connected to social awareness. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, and 
question five. What did you be care become a musician? Can you remember that kid? No, when you look in the mirror. Um. So, I think I started playing the piano when I was five and started to play the saxophone when I was eight years old. But, yeah, so I started to do, like, I really started to do music much later when I was like 16 or 17 when I uh, found out that music can be much more than like rule based and like in the uh, in, the, in the scripts and like it's a social thing to do it's like we're being creative together like it's um, much more when I uh, as I thought before and um, so I'd say through music I learned to uh, behave with people I was so in my uh, early youth. I was kind of socially awkward. <laughs> All the things I uh, like got to know with music, like other jazz musicians, but also like having a close musically musical relationship to um, like my bandmates and all that. It kind of like helped me to get along with people, to um, love people like to be positive minded about people because when you're doing music you um, you give much effort to people much power to people um, but they give you they're kind of thankful when you play for them but I, I, I experienced experience this a lot so people were quite thankful and um, love to talk about you with about your music and people like you for your music and if you get so much like positive vibes and compliments, it's much easier, uh, sustainably easier to be positive to people as well and like to share the life with uh, about the things they do as well. And I think um, music helped me to be like, very positive towards people and believe in the best of the people because I kind of see the effort people put in the things they are doing. Right and um, yeah, so it's a wonderful social experience, and I would be a completely different human being without music. Yeah.